What's up guys, Kevin here, and today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to order and set up an awesome pre-built high-powered gaming PC, the HP Omen. So, first things first, we need to actually order our Omen PC, which is really simple. All you have to do is go to HP's website, select the configuration you want to do. We're going to look at the 880-160 SE, which is one of the more powerful configurations you can get. And then you can customize all the little bits and pieces you want. Now, there are some pre-done recommended configurations you can do, but I'm actually going to skip that and just go to doing each and every section because I want to max this thing out. Now our first choice is what processor we want to have, which for this configuration we have two choices. And this is going to be the main brain of the computer that really makes sure that everything runs nice and efficiently. Now our two choices are either an i7-8700 or an i7-8700K, which the main difference there is the K is going to let us overclock, which we want to do. So we're going to grab that one. Now next up is our memory. Now the more of this we have, the smoother and faster the system's gonna run, and you can get as little as eight gigs, 12 or 16, but I wanna go all out with this system, so we're gonna grab 32. Going down the list, the next choice you have is what storage options we want, which we need a lot of that to make sure we have room for all of our games, DLC, and I'm gonna be doing gameplay capture, so that's gonna fill up really quick. So there's a few options here. You can get just a one terabyte hard drive, but I wanna have a combination hard drive and SSD. That way, everything in the SSD is gonna load a lot faster, while the hard drive is all the mass storage. So we're gonna get the biggest option here, which is 512 gigabytes of SSD with a two terabyte hard drive. Now next is our heatsink, which is really important because with all the power that we're putting in this PC, we need to make sure that it, well, doesn't melt. And there's a few choices here. You can get an air cooling system, but I'm gonna go a little extra to get the liquid cooling solution. That's gonna make sure that it's not only cool, but it's gonna run a lot more quietly. On top of that, I'm gonna grab the option that gives us a side window, because if I'm gonna have this much power in a PC, I wanna be able to see it. Now our last and probably most important option is what graphics card we want to have, because that's going to determine just how good games can look. And there's quite a few choices here. You can start at the introductory of a GeForce 1070, but once again, we're pushing this thing to the limit, so I'm going to go for the top option with a pair of 1080 Ti's and SLI. Alright, so now we've got everything picked and ordered, so now all we have to do is wait for it to arrive. So now that our Omen is here, it's actually really easy to set up and it's ready to go right out of the box. But before we start playing on it, let's take a look inside. You can get a little bit of a look with the side window here, but let's actually open it up. And this is one of the things that's really cool about the Omen is there's a lot of pre-built out there that make it a chore to open up if you ever want to upgrade anything or change it out. Not the case here, really easy. All you gotta do is flip a switch on the back, is slide the little lock button here, hit this button, and then just pull this off and there we are. So there is a lot going on in here, so let's take a look at everything we have. So you can't see the CPU because it's actually covered by our liquid cooling unit right here. And next to that is all of our RAM. Now below that we have our pair of 1080 Ti's, which is a lot of power. And below that is our hard drive storage options right here. Now what's really cool about the Omen is that you do have some additional places for hard drives as well, which is actually up top, where all you have to do is open these flaps and you have a pair of drive caddies to easily swap in and out any additional hard drives you might have. So now that we've confirmed that everything we ordered is actually inside the tower, which is a good thing, let's close it back up and actually start playing some games. So to get a real grasp of how powerful the system is, we're gonna play The Crew 2 on the Omen, as well as on an eighth generation nondescript home gaming console. And to start, we're just gonna drive around San Francisco for a little bit and really see how everything looks, which is beautiful, by the way. I'm not even playing the game yet, and something I'm noticing right away is it's taking a lot longer to get started. We're gonna get there though. Just, just wait a bit. All right, we can start. And we have everything on max settings right now. We're using a 1080p monitor, and we are getting a solid 60 frames that is not dipping at all for even a moment. So another thing is the console version of Crew 2 is only at 30 frames, so it's going at half the frame rate of what we're seeing on the Omen, and it's just, it's just a little choppy, and especially in games like this that are so fast and require reflexes, uh, having that lower frame rate can even actually have a negative impact on your gameplay. Uh, the frames aren't dropping at all. It also looks like while it's targeting for that 30, we're getting a little drop off when star stuff really starts taking off. There's a lot of other little things too going on all at once. The reflections on the car, how far you can see in the distance, everything's just looking really crisp and nice here. You can see in the distance how there is a major difference in draw distance. So next, let's go ahead and switch over to a boat. And here's where you can really notice, since we're in the ocean and just far away from all the land, you can see how far the draw distance actually is. 
It's still a good looking game, but compared to playing it on the Omen, it's just those hits and frame rate and the inconsistency of it, plus the drop in just resolution and details, it's not really as immersive. Head to head comparison. So I think it's pretty safe to say that when it comes to performance, the Omen absolutely kills it at getting the most out of your games. Now, if you're interested, make sure to check out HP's website for more info on this tower and the rest of the Omen line, and I'll see you all later.